Hello, in this video, we're going to dive into masking in CapCut for PC. Let's get started without wasting any more time. Masking is a technique that allows us to hide or show specific parts of our footage. You can cover areas you don't want, reveal only what you need, or add a fresh perspective to your media. First, let's drag this clip into the timeline. Head to the video basics, and then select masking. You'll see different types of masks here. Let's begin with the horizontal mask. When applied, it will cover one part of the video. You can rotate and adjust the mask to fit your needs. Say we want to reveal this clip from the bottom left corner to the top right. We can achieve that with masking. Simply drag the mask to where you want the animation to start. Place a keyframe at the first frame, You've begun revealing your media. Keyframes let you control the reveal from various perspectives, and the results are stunning. Check out our last video for a detailed lesson on keyframe animation. Next, let's talk about this rectangle mask. So, imagine you want to mask out just the couch from this picture. You draw a rectangle above it, right? Now, once you've extracted the couch, now if you press inverse, you will reveal everything, and you will hide the couch. Now, let's get creative and make a cinematic opener using the mirror mask. Place a keyframe at the first frame, then move forward in the timeline and place another keyframe to complete the opening effect. You can use any angle to reveal your media and add cinematic flair. Before we dive into the circle mask, let's quickly cover the heart and star masks. These let you mask in heart or star shapes, but honestly, they're not that useful for most projects. Now, onto the circle mask. Let's say we want to mask out a person from an image. Simply apply the circle mask, drag and adjust it as needed. If you want to replace this person with someone else, hit inverse, then download and insert the new image. Notice how the edges look too sharp and unnatural. To fix this, increase the feathering for softer merged edges. Now, adjust the color using filters. We're getting ready to upload a brand new video on color grading and color correction, so make sure to subscribe and stay connected. You can see how we fix this person right here, using a mask, adding some feathering, and applying color correction. Next, let's mask out the sky. We'll use the circle mask, but it might not be perfect for this task. While Premiere Pro offers a pen tool, CapCut also has one that many users don't know about. Head to the background remover, select custom removal, and roughly select the area you want to keep. The unselected parts will be automatically removed. Now let's mask out this building. Create a rough selection and CapCut will detect the subject for you. Boom! You can easily add or remove elements with this tool. Let's try removing these two people using the eraser tool. Simple and effective. We'll now mask out an arrow and bow. Use the custom removal tool. Make a rough selection. and boom, you're done. Now, let's try out some mask transitions inside CapCut. Drag the clip of a man walking on the beach into the timeline. Duplicate it, go to background removal and select auto removal. Let's apply a horizontal mask and add some keyframes moving from left to right. Play it back, it looks great, but notice the water hitting his feet doesn't blend smoothly. Let's fix that. Duplicate the footage again and select the moment the water hits the feet. Add a horizontal mask around that point and increase the feathering for a smoother transition. It's almost perfect, but it comes in too abruptly. Let's go to animation and add a fade in effect. Now everything flows beautifully, but one thing is missing. I think we can add some feathering to the mask. You can increase the feather by simply dragging this button. That way it will animate much more smoothly. Now, let's try a tree transition. You can use this on any fixed object. As you move the camera from one part, add a mask from the other and it will blend together perfectly. Bring in a clip of a tree and if you filmed it well, it should look great. If not, like me, you can reverse the clip. Now add another background, the one you want to use for the transition, and place it below the reversed clip. Now remove the background of the reversed clip using the custom removal tool. Move a few frames forward, deselect the auto selection, and manually fine tune the mask.
Now let's add a horizontal mask, moving from left to right on the background layer. Let's apply a blur effect to the background layer for that cinematic look. Just adjust the mask and the blur and you're done. Lastly, let's create a car masking effect. Add text to fit the car's shape. Duplicate the car layer. Place the text layer between the car layers. Now remove the background of the duplicate layer using the custom removal tool. Now, play it to see the results, but... One thing is left, the size of the car doesn't quite fit. To fix that, go to the transform settings of the text layer and uncheck the box. Then, adjust the height and width until you get the desired result. And there we are. Done. Party popper. Now let's finish with this creative effect. It looks so cool, right? And yes, it's super easy to create. Bring stock footage of a forest into the timeline, duplicate it, and create a mask using the custom removal tool. Deselect the unwanted parts using the second tool under the custom removal option, then use the third tool to delete the selection. Text between the two layers, add your text, choose a font and size that works well, and place it between the two forest layers. Now animate the text to rise from the ground using keyframe animation. Check out our last video for a detailed lesson on keyframe animation. And yes, that's it. We're done with this animation too. Thank you so much for sticking with us today. We're going to upload more related videos on CapCut. And in the future, we'll cover Premiere Pro, After Effects, and much more. Subscribe to our channel to stay connected.